What's going on? Welcome back to another album review. And today we're going to be taking a look at Isolated Antagonist. Affirmation of Entropy. My friend Glenn has been a supporter of my empire for four years and counting. Uh, Nate has also been a supporter of my empire four years and counting. Both of these guys are fantastic gentlemen. Um, and I owe this to them. I owe this to, to, do, the, to do this for them, you know. Um, and Glenn put this in. He's like, do it if you have room. I was like, dude, I'll make room for you. Just for you. I'll make room. Um, but yeah. Glenn is my very first patron. Um, he is the only one, the only one in my channel that believed in me before anyone else did, not uh, aside from family and friends and close friends. Like, he was the only stranger that I didn't know of that believed in my channel, believed in my cause, and bringing bands together that he literally has been on the $5 tier for four years and four years and up. And he's, he, he's been shifting to $5, $10, $25. It doesn't even matter, dude. This dude is the hugest supporter of my empire. And I love this dude to death, like my brother. And hopefully one day I'll be able to come up to Massachusetts and meet him. Isolated Antagonist was created in 2014. Their debut album was released in February 2015. The IA initials are a turnaround on AI, artificial intelligence, I knew this, in which the band members have an interest in. The band was started by Glenn Mitchell and Nate X. Gradowski of Massachusetts. Glenn writes all lyrics and themes and gives musical ideas, while Nate mainly writes the music and does all the instruments. They intend to bring back the old industrial metal style with influences ranging from Fear Factory to Godflesh to Die Krups. The musical style is a mix of industrial and death metal mixing all of their influences into one and creating their own style of music. That comes from the actual isolatedantagonist.com bio. Now we're going to read Music Machine Man Records bio. Isolated antagonist. Band members are Glenn Mitchell and Nate X. Gradowski. Glenn Mitchell's ag aggressive vocals and lyrics. Nate X. Gradowski is clean vocals, programming, keyboards, guitars, and bass. This dude works his ass off. Plus, he has like six fucking side projects on the side that he does stuff with. It, yeah, he, he's insane, man. <clears throat> Biography. Created with the intent to bring back the old industrial metal, industrial death metal style. Similar to bands such as Fear Factory and Godflesh, Isolated Antagonist was constructed in 2014 by Glenn Mitchell and Nate X. Gradowski of Massachusetts. Debut album, The Isolated and the Antagonist, a story of one man lost amongst a war of disease in a future not too far from now, was released in February of 2015. Soon after their second full-length album, album, Affirmation of Entropy, was released in February of 2016, which paved the way for 2018's Oblivion, featuring ex-Fear Factory bassist Christian Old Wolbers on bass guitar. That's badass. Joining with Machine Man Records, 2018 sees the release of two new singles titled Gift of Failure and Grind, which I've heard both of them, which features guest vocals from Sam Neralia of Torture Hymns. Both songs will be featured on the upcoming full-length album Contention which continues the story of story of one man lost amongst a war of disease in the future not too far from now. Without further ado, this is my full album review of Isolated Antagonist, Affirmation of Entropy. The very first track is called Into the Dark. I've heard two tracks on this album, I think, right? Oh no, I only heard one track on this album. The Last Death. It's the only track I've heard.
pretty cool. Pretty cool sounds in here, man. Yeah, me too, Mom. I'm really excited. Sorry, kind of get that, trying to get that fucking straight. Shit. Gotta get my hat out of the dryer. I wonder what plugins Nate uses for this. It's really fucking cool, man. He spent so much money. He makes his own guitars. I want to. I'm trying to get a seven string uh, made by him uh, when I move back to the states. Sounds like old school Fear Factory, dude. like Cannibal Corpse and Old School Fear Factory. I 
gotta say, the production is really fucking good on this. The drums need some help, that's about it though. The snare, just mainly the snare, just needs help. The EQ on the snare, but I, that's just that's just one thing that I, that I don't like about it. sick yeah just that snare eq i don't like the snare eq i don't know it's just it's too digital in my personal opinion um and that it's gonna lose some points for that snare eq uh but it's still a well-produced album so far um this is only a second track really love the the vocals the vocals are really cool the guitar tone dude the guitar tone just screams old cannibal corpse and old fear factory dude love it it's fucking brutal. Um, so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to grab my hat. I'm pretty sure it's done in the dryer. Uh, let me go grab it real quick. 